sort of an extension of the writing workshop we had today, I want to talk to you about how you can use apps on your phone or your computer um, or a tablet to keep a journal. Um, so we're going to go from kind of the most basic, like the notes apps on your phone or your computer, up to a couple of specific apps for journaling. Um, so like we're going to start with just real basic and then move our way up. And you can choose whichever one you think would work best for you in terms of keeping an ongoing journal, just anything where you can write stuff. So that can be helpful for a lot of different things, but we're thinking kind of specifically about journaling right now. So the first thing I wanna show you, um, I am on a Mac computer right now. So I wanna show you the um, notes app that comes with, it, it's on iPhone, it's on iPad, it's on um, Mac computers, um, Apple computers. I just wanna show you it's, it's it's automatically on all of these things. So I'm gonna share my screen for a second and show you what it looks like on my computer. Um, but it's gonna be real similar on a phone or a tablet too. And I have a tablet in front of me, I can show you that as well. What you wanna look for is this little app right here and it's called Notes. And you'll see it looks like maybe like a legal pad. If you can't find it on your, um, on your dashboard here, you can go to the launch pad to your apps and you'll find it in there right here. So it looks like a little notepad. We're gonna open that up. So you open up the notes app. Basically, it's the equivalent of a blank sheet of paper. All right, so you can go in, you can say, um, today, I, so that's actually your, your um, so let's say we want to do something like a journal entry in here. This is the title of it. So we're gonna say October 12th. And I can say, just hit return and say, today we did the writing workshop at in Smart University. Okay, so let's say that's, you can put as much as you want to in there, as little as you want to. You, this is just a really basic place to put text, all right? Um, if you wanted to add a new note, you see up here where that um, pencil is, you can just add a new one. So you could do this day by day. Um, you can even use this for things like uh, making lists. If you go to this checkbox, you can make a bulleted list. So if you want to make like a list of things you need to do, you can do all sorts of different sort of note taking in here. It doesn't have to be just journaling, but it's also really helpful for journaling too. So if we wanted to make a note that was a, just a bulleted list, to-do list, and then do our bullets and say, go to the store, write an email. So anything that you wanna do in here, it's just kind of an open space for you to um, do word processing. You can also attach photos and stuff if that's something that you wanna do. So if you hit this thing with the um, the paperclip, you can attach a photo, you can attach audio, but really, you know, for just basic everyday use, it's really helpful for just like taking notes, keeping a journal, really basic. And it's, if you have any sort of Mac phone, tablet, computer, this is already installed on it. So you just need to look for it in your apps. Okay. So that's the super basic version of um, a way that you can keep a journal. You'll see this app right here is the notes app and it looks real similar to what we just did. So if you have an iPhone or an iPad, just look for that app. So for you Android users, it's a little different, but not that different. I'm gonna show you what we can use. This is the equivalent version of a notes app for Android phones. I think most of the new Android phones actually have this automatically downloaded on there, but it's something you can find in the app store as well. And it's called Keep Notes. So it's this yellow app right here called Keep. And like I said, you can find it in the um, Play Store if you don't have it on your phone, but I think a lot of Android phones have it automatically now. So it's just called Keep. You can put in Keep Notes. 
and it's a Google app. So if you have anything Google related, it's going to sync up with those. OK, so let's look at it. It's very similar to the notes app. OK, so what you see here, it's real basic. There's this little plus mark at the bottom. That's what you hit to start a new note. I'm going to hit that and see it's really similar. So I can say type my title in, say October 12th. And then I would write my entry underneath. So today, we're just going to write something really basic. Was a good day. All right. And these will all, and it saves automatically. You don't have to go in and save it. Same with the notes app. Um, you'll see here I have some blank ones that I can actually just go ahead and delete. So I'm going to do like this. Go to those three dots. I'm just going to go ahead and delete the blank ones. It'll end up on this sort of pin board here, and you can go back to them. And as you add new notes, um, they'll all show up here. So you can go back to your journal entries. You can write a whole bunch of text in here, too. It doesn't have to be short. It doesn't, it, like, it'll go as long as it'll cut it off here so you can still see it. But you can write a whole, you know, pages worth of stuff. If you have Google Docs on your phone or your computer or your tablet, um, or you're accessing it online, I know if you were in the Tech Talk class before we did that, um, that also saves automatically. So you can use that um, for word processing too, and any of these things you can use for journaling. There's one on Samsung phones called Samsung Notes as well. There are lots of different apps like this. And basically what they are is just places for you to keep notes. And you can use any of those for this, for journaling. You can also, like I said, on here, you see this check mark on here, you can make a to-do list, you can make a check off list, and then you can check off the things as you're done with them. That's just a nice thing to have. Again, this is like, you know, if you want to just use something that is handy, that's already on your phone, this is perfectly great for journaling. Again, too, you can just journal in a journal as well. You can just write like we did today. Totally fine. These are just some options if you want to do it um, digitally. We have this. We don't want anybody to see it. This right here, this um, folder with the down arrow, that's how we're going to archive it. So if we do that. We can go into our archives later, but it's not going to be on the front. We're going to go here. You're going to go to those three lines and then go to archive. So that's one way to hide something if you don't want it just on the front page of your um, key notes. I'm going to show you a couple more specific apps that are kind of like geared towards um, specific kinds of journaling. And I think these are really interesting. I spent some time looking up different ones. Um, so I'm going to show you this one. It's called Presently. And what this is, is this is a really basic gratitude journal. If you've heard about gratitude journaling before, it's like basically you just write something down every day that you're grateful for. Um, and this can be a good, really good guided way to start a journal, especially if you're trying to work on, you know, thinking about being grateful. Um, and there's been, like I said, in the um, in the writing group, uh, the writing class, there's been a lot of so research done about how this can be really helpful to you specifically for gratitude journaling as well that this can really sort of help with depression, anxiety, um, any sort of stress that you're feeling. It's just keeping this real simple gratitude journal every day. That's what this one's made for presently. So we're just gonna click in here and I'm gonna say, I am grateful for everyone at SMART, okay? And you'll see down here there's, It'll give you all these quotes about gratitude, too. We got one from Willie Nelson down here. Um, so it just sort of keeps you inspired in that way. So I'm just going to hit save. And you see it'll just like sort of add up for each day. So this, again, it's a pretty basic, but it's just guided towards um, towards gratitude as the journaling practice here. If that you go in the settings, there's a couple of things that you can do in here. You can set a daily or daily notification so it'll remind you to do your gratitude journal every day. Um, you can change the theme to all these different things. So we could make it this little moon. So if we go back, it looks like that. You can do all sorts of stuff. You can turn on or off those quotes. You can lock, you can put a lock on your um, on this app just in case you want any of this to be private that you can unlock with your, your thumbprint if you've got that set up on your phone. 
I think if you have a pattern on your phone too, it'll let you use that. Um, but just to make sure if you need it to be private. That's one of the things that is can be difficult to do with um, the notes apps. You can make individual notes private on the notes app for um, iPhones and iPads, uh, but the whole thing um, doesn't have a lock feature. I'm gonna change this theme because it's really dark <laughs> and I can't see it very well. It's not my favorite. Let's let's do a little, little ghosty dude. There we go, okay. So let's do today. All right, so if we start typing, if we find the dictate on our phone, here it is, it's this little, this is, this is the workaround if the app itself doesn't have a dictate feature. Um, you should see this little microphone on the side. All right, so any app you can actually use this. This is helpful for just about anything. Um, click that little microphone. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna type this, but um, I'm grateful for everyone at SMART. And then I'm gonna say save. And I can go in there and take out all the stuff that I got otherwise. If you would rather sort of speak your entries, or if um, writing is difficult for you for any reason, this is a great way around that. So you're still writing. It's not any different. You're just you're just saying it instead of writing it down, typing it, or um, with a pen or something. So that's a really good option if that's something that you'd rather do. If you go into the notes app, if you go in here, you can. This has a dictation thing on here. Yeah, okay, so recording. Today, we had the writing workshop. That one, I, this one doesn't work great. I would say use the dictate feature on the, on the um, keyboard for this as well. So today, we had the writing workshop, period. So there you go. <laughs> and, and click the microphone to make it stop recording you. Um, but uh, so I would say, you know, with all of these, you can use the dictate feature. That might be the easiest way to go. OK, I just want to show you one more called day one. So it's this blue one with the little white ribbon on it. I'm going to click on that. And this one, I've tried to show you ones that are free, too. I think some of these might have um, things that you can buy in them. But these ones don't have tons of ads and pop ups and stuff on them, which I know can get really annoying. There are a bunch of journaling apps you can pay for, but I don't think you should have to when some of these are free, um, unless they have some sort of feature that you really want. But um, these function perfectly well as free apps. Um, so this, here's what you have when you go into OneNote. So you can add an entry, it's that big plus mark right there. All right, and see, it's just the date. You can go in here and say, you know, today we had Tech Talk. I know I'm not being very descriptive in these uh, journal entries, but it's just for an example. And then it saves automatically as well. So we're going to go back to our main thing and we can see. So I had this journal entry from yesterday that says today I'm feeling good. Today we had Tech Talk. So you can just go in, write as much or as little as you want to. Um, you'll see that it's getting my location on here. You can turn that off in the settings if you don't want location on there. Location can be kind of good if um, you are like traveling or something. You want to know where you were when you were writing something. You can turn on notifications for this. You can um, put a password on this one as well. So you can set your password for this different than what's on your phone. And you can also add pictures to any of your journal entries. And these will just save going on and you can come back and look at them whenever you want to. So this is this is like sort of basic free form journaling app that is also free. So those are the apps that I looked at. Again, if you want to look in this in either the Play Store or the App Store, um, I'm sure you can find some as well. These are free. They're easily accessible. I think they're pretty straightforward. You can have your journal. You can have your notes about doctor's appointments. You can have your to do list, your shopping list all in the same place. Um, with the notes apps.